Maruti Suzuki India Limited. We are going to have a very interesting panel discussion. 
and I would like to invite on stage singer, songwriter, composer, record producer, music director, and the recipient of the prestigious Dada Bai Phalke Award, Clinton Sereno. How are you today? Um, I think it's uh, uh, off, or I think it's on, but I can't hear you too well. Yeah, you can't hear me too well? Yeah, I can't hear you too well for some reason. Maybe, maybe the proximity is too uh, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I would like to invite on stage one of, the, one of the most influential musicians in India. The founder, the creative force, and the front man of India's front-running rock band industry, Uday Bengal. Yeah, they can sit wherever you want. Next, I want to invite on stage singer, songwriter, model, DJ, actress, a dear friend, and one of my most favorite people on earth, I think, Anushka Manchanda. That's a very high chair you've got there, Anushka. Another one of my most favorite artists. I would request this wonderful singer, songwriter, and guitarist from Mumbai who recently got signed to East West Records of Warner Music UK. Please put your hands together for Nikhil D'Souza. This next invitation is of great honor for me to be even saying. I would like to call upon stage someone who's been on the list of the 100 most influential people in the world. He's been, an, he's been awarded the Padma Bhushan, two Grammys, two Academy Awards, a Golden Globe, a BAFTA, six National Film Awards and 15 Filmfare Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the Mozart of Madras, the one and only A.R. Rehman. Tarun Garg, the Executive Director of Marketing Maruti Suzuki, India. Big round of applause, please. And now, to take this panel discussion forward, the Managing Director and CEO of QP Digital Media and the force behind this wonderful initiative, Mr. Samir Bangara. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you sir. Thanks so much. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen in the press. Kalsi San, Tarun San, thank you so much for this amazing opportunity to, uh, and, and path breaking. I have to say that, uh, you know, we did our research, uh, we do so much work in music. I've had, I had fortunate to actually have a company that Mr. Rahman and I are partners in, and we do a lot of things in music. And what we realized is that uh, this is actually path breaking because if you put your mind to it, in the recent past, at least I can't come up with it, uh, there has been no project that has actually supported independent, original English music. There just hasn't been any platform, any brand that has stood behind that and given it, and given it uh, or any independent artist a skill that you will, that you will come about to see as we discuss this today. I want to quickly open with maybe Tarun San, give us an idea on uh, the, the genesis of the thought behind Nexa Music and uh, how this all came about because you know you are, you are the pioneers in this space so please tell us about it. Look, uh, ever since uh, we have launched the Nexa channel in 2015, you know we have always been in doing something new and if you see today the philosophy of Nexa is like create and inspire and uh, we have been in various owners and now we decided why not independent music 
uh, you know, the whole idea was, can we take the experience of the customer beyond the showroom? And uh, we have seen that independent music, you know, it is, it is getting traction. In fact, uh, uh, you know, in 2002, I believe it really contributed only 3% to the total uh, music, but now I believe it's, it's brought it down 25%. So there are a, a whole lot of enthusiastic people who are, who are really interested in international music. And the other aspect is that, uh, uh, you know, there is no really real platform where, where people who, are, who, who want to create music, uh, uh, you know, uh, they can come and, 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 and show us their passion. So, uh, so I think this is a great opportunity for these people that beyond uh, uh, Bollywood or beyond, uh, you know, Hindi music, something new comes up. And that's the whole idea behind Mixer going into independent music. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Rahman, or Rahman San for the, for the occasion. I'll refer to you as Rahman San. Uh, you know, I know that we, we've discussed so many projects, but you're especially excited about this. I've seen you leaning forward, coming up with ideas. Uh, in, in, in this vast career that you've had and rich career that you've had, what do you think is being the, what can we do different over here? I mean, this English, the opportunity to give talent to India to create original English music, uh, why hasn't that happened so far? I, uh, first of all, it's a, there's no screen for the expression, there's nobody commissioning you to do a particular thing, but it's what you feel and what stories you want to say through your song. And, Nothing defines uh, the law, so you have to be Indian or you need to be, so you can put it out to the world. Like K pop has taken over after that, they have just taken pride, pushed it up, and now it's become like mainstream, main K pop, mainstream. Right. But uh, unfortunately, J Hope never happened. I think it has to be a collective uh, revolution. No, one single person can't do it. It has to be collective, and the whole country has to rise up. Right. So in a way, the music did it, but I felt like disappointed because um, indie music. There's so many. It's, it was brewing the past ten years. I could see that uh, a lot of underground music, a lot of indie musicians were coming, but they were just confused to see if we hundred thousand or two hundred thousand. Right. And so the exposure, um, somebody like Texas Music coming in it is very really good. I can see the enthusiasm. Absolutely. It's a great start, right? Okay, uh, as, the, as the music producer of the project, and you know, the, we considered many names, and I think uh, just your prolific career and your, uh, your association with English music, and of course, you know, uh, you've had a body of work in Bollywood, book studio, all the other stuff, and uh, a great career in hands. But it stood out as a, as a producer who can actually help some of the talent uh, actually reach out to global audiences. Uh, tell us a little bit about your journey in consisting <coughs> associated with this and, and <coughs> we will create a slightly differentiated sound. Sometimes you might have to inspire some of the other creators and step back and let them create it and actually just give it the finishing touch and sometimes maybe do some of the heavy lifting with them because what we certainly want is a sound that is borderless and that can travel across the world, but originally from India. Tell us about your thoughts around that. Uh, actually, I completely agree with what uh, what uh, Ayan said to begin with, uh, and why I'm so excited to be associated with Nexar to begin with is that uh, in India we don't have a pop industry, we have a film industry, and we as musicians service the film industry. So what happens is even though we are creating music that is heard by millions of people, that is not necessarily our own expression. It's what we what a director wants us to create for a situation. It's what a uh, you know, film demands. So it's not always our own expression. This is a blank page. We have a blank canvas and we can create our own expression as artists. Which is, uh, which is uh, something to be really grateful for as an indie musician in, in a country which is uh, very strongly driven by, by Bollywood. So that's the first point. Uh, coming to the second point of how I, how I, uh, I, how I see the project, I think that uh, it's very, very important for us to to look at uh, India on the on the global scale, just as uh, uh, Kaya sir said about you know the K-pop industry, I don't think they consider themselves anything less than you know the U.S. market or the U.K. market, and that's how they managed to succeed. So I think we have to have that same vision. That's I think I personally have that same vision. I think that 
we are going to create uh, sounds that are unique, sounds that are definitive, but have uh, in, are in no way less than anything you would hear on the Billboard, uh, you know, top 100 or you know anything like that. And also, I mean, for the way the way I'm seeing uh, each of these artists, like each of these artists have so much personality in their own right. Like you heard Nikhil before, I don't use any uh, you know in, young Indian who hasn't heard any of them already. You know, they, they are such brilliant musicians in their own right. But how do we, you know, present Anushka in a way that people haven't heard of it? How do we present Uday in a slightly different way that people have, who are, or at least his fans, haven't seen it before? I mean, how do we present Nikhil in a way that Nikhil's fan base has, you know, connected with him in a way? I mean, I think that's how I'm also looking at trying to create something a little different, but at the same time give the fans, uh, you know, what they used to, the, the familiar, familiarity also, you know, should be there. No, I hear Laman some talk about the magic, you know, we have to create the magic. So hopefully you'll bring some of that pixie dust to everybody who worked as, um, as a producer on it. But uh, let's, let's move over to, I'm glad we put the lady on the pedestal, Anushka. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you, you were the original, you came out of a talent hunt back in the day, right? It's been, uh, when was it? The, uh, 2002? And you were the original Viva girl, right? Now, tell us a little bit about how, how that's shaped your career because part of this is discovering an interesting sound and a band that's really talented but what can we do different as part of Nexa Music that we actually make sure that we nurture the talent not just for the part of our hunt but about the journey after that and you know just from the various conversations we've had you know this has taken a while what I saw with the, with the brand one is that they are they are bold to attempt this because it's an open space right we're not looking at it just to look at the numbers but they've always had a long association and we did our research in sort of five years with IFA, you know, with India's Bhattar because you don't want somebody to back something like this in its early days and then step out of it because they didn't get the, the right sort of, you know, scale of it. So I love that about the brand and about Nexa Music and giving this opportunity. How, how would you sort of connect the dots back to the indie scene, the English original music? I think uh, it's really important for an artist to, to be developed, you know, and here uh, with this project, uh, all the expertise is being provided to this artist, you know, usually with reality shows and contests and things like this. Uh, uh, an artist is brought out onto the scene, uh, uh, you know, with a big bang and a video is made and then that's it. Press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update.